Welcome to our midday time of prayer. Uh, today is Monday, May the 25th. Uh, we'll be looking at a passage from Matthew chapter 5. We're going to continue with last week's passages, the ones that have to do with the Sermon on the Mount. So this, this week we begin with Matthew 5, verses 33 through 37. We're using a method called Lectio Divinia, where we'll read the passage, then, we're, then we will reflect on it. And we'll do that a couple of times and then eventually rest. What we hope is that in the time of, of reading the passage, that there's a word or a phrase or an image that is presented to us. And then we just simply want to stay there with that word or that phrase or that image and allow the, the Holy Spirit to minister to us. Uh, today's lesson, the first reading, Matthew 5, verses 33 through 37. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vow you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is a simple yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. And now our second reading. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is simple yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. And now our final reading. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it, it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is simple, simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one.
Thank you for joining us for our midday time of prayer. I hope that you'll stay with that word or that phrase or that image throughout the rest of the day and trust that the Holy Spirit will continue to minister to you. Uh, please also pray for those who are in need and, and however the, the Lord, uh, you feel led by the Lord to do that. And thank you again for joining and we'll see you tomorrow.